Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Home Decor Trends. Today I will share with you a very awesome and very new latest patio design for your homes. Patios are the perfect way to give your outdoor space a new look. A well laid patio will integrate your home seamlessly into the garden, creating an outdoor room that can serve multiple functions. What does a patio look like? Patios may or may not have covered a roof and are truly paved area between the house and the garden. They can be made of concrete, bricks, stone, flag stones, gravel and parapets. A patio can be attached to a house or freestanding. A wall patio is often referred to as a courtyard or courtyard patio. What is a patio shape? Patio shape in home. The most common patio shape is a square or a triangle. While this design is not the most creative, it is often the most practical and cost effective. Square patios featuring straight edges and 90 degree angles fit well into formal and contemporary style garden. The best material for patio is Power. The different types of powers are concrete, clay brick, and natural stone. It is the best patio material due to its strength, its of repair, and material options. Patio is a Spanish word, and it is means that it is in the courtyard of your building. They are found adjacent to your home and to ground floor. They may be constructed with concrete or gravel. They are generally not built from wood or at all raised. A patio cat does not have to have walls around. What is patio and balcony? Patios are usually made of stones or bricks and are all installed at ground level. But balconies are elevated structures that are attached to a building on the second story or higher. Patios can be adjusted to home or a totally separate area in the yard. And they can vary in size, shape and purpose. Is patio indoor or outdoor or outdoor? A patio is a paved or outdoor area adjoining a house. It may be built directly off the slab or may be added to the side of the home after the fact. What is a good size of patio? We recommend a minimum of 25 square feet per person. So, if you plan to host 50 people, plan for a space around 375 sq feet. We recommend a patio around 50. 550 square feet for comfortable entertaining. entertaining. What are patio size? Average patio dimension small bistro patio, the medium dining patio, and large entertaining patio. What is the purpose of a patio? A patio is an outdoor space generally used for dining or recreation that adjoin a structure and are typically packed. Patio furniture, garden furniture also called a patio furniture. Our outdoor furniture is a type of furniture specially designed for outdoor use. It is typically made of weather resistant materials such as aluminium which is rust proof. Which is patio in floor plane. Patio are built on the ground level and opposed to the porches and verandas. Furthermore, a patio would not be directly connected to the building but is still placed near it. The most basic form of patio is simply a paved surface in the yard made of various materials. How do you can choose a patio? By looking at what kind of look you want your patio to have, this will help you choose between slabs, blocks and stones. 
Paving slaves are large paving stones which are the most common choice for patio and paths. These are a great way to create a clean look and cover a bigger space more efficiently. What are the patio made of? Patios, popular patios building materials can be came from poured concrete and powers of recycled plastic to natural flag stone and brick of fired clay. Here are the three main types of patios. Here in this video you can see the three main types of patio to consider. Pair patio also called also called interlocking a slab. Number two, flagstone patios also called natural stone. Number three, stamped concrete patios are called patterned concrete. What is the difference between veranda and patio? A veranda is an attached outdoor structure with a roof that runs along one or more sides of the house. The patio, on the other hand, is a paved recreation area that may be attached to the house or be freestanding. It may or may not have a roof or even walls. They are a great for outdoor entertaining, a simply relaxing area. In the patio is a terrace. A terrace is external raised open flat area in either a land space or a building or as a roof terrace on a flat roof. Terrace is actually used interchangeably with the words patio in many cases. Patio in architecture. Patio in Spanish and Latin American architecture. A courtyard within a building open to the sky, it is a Spanish development of the Roman RTM and is comparable to the Italian courtile. The patio was a major feature is medieval Spanish architecture. What is the formula for patio area? Measure the length and width of your patio in feet. Multiply the width by the length to find the square footage. Assuming with the 12 feet. Attachment A patio is typically uncovered detached element of landscape design located at ground level in the back of house, while a porch is an attached element level with the front of the house. Shared element patios are not part of the home designs or structures. Patio chair design for outdoor use, port, decks, extra. So all these designs or patios are very helpful for you if you are going to make your patio beautiful and attractive. This video will make your help for a bigger space more efficiently. What are the patio made of? Patios, popular patios building materials can be came from poured concrete and powers of recycled plastic to natural flag stone and brick of fired clay. Here are the three main types of patios. Here in this video you can see the three main types of patio to consider. Pair patio also called, also called interlocking a slab. Number two. Flagstone patios also called natural stone. Number three, stamped concrete patios are called patterned concrete. What is the difference between veranda and patio? A veranda is an attached outdoor structure with a roof that runs along one or more sides of the house. The patio, on the other hand, is a paved recreation area that may be attached to the house or be freestanding it may or may not have a roof or even walls they are a great for outdoor entertaining a simply relaxing area in the patio is a terrace a terrace is external raised open flat area in either a land space or a building or as a roof terrace on a flat roof terrace is actually used interchangeably with the words patio in many cases Patio in architecture. Patio in Spanish and Latin American architecture. A courtyard within a building open to the sky. It is a Spanish development of the Roman RTM and is comparable 
to the Italian court tile. The patio was a major feature is medieval Spanish architecture. What is the formula for patio area? Measure the length and width of your patio in feet. Multiply the width by the length to find the square footage. Assuming with the 12 feet. Attachment A patio is typically uncovered detailed element of landscape design located at ground level in the back of house. While a porch is an attached element level with the front of the house. Shared element patios are not part of the home design or structures. Patio chair design for outdoor use, port, decks, extra. So all these designs or patios are very helpful for you if you are going to make your patio beautiful and attractive. This video will make your help. So please like, watch and subscribe my channel. And Till next part of patio 2. Thank you.